Today we're going to do a unfair guide for Hostila boss fight on the shield maze. Here I'm using builds I already showcased in the channel, so you can check them out later. Here we just buff ourselves, cast True Strike. Um, casting True Strike really, really helps a lot. The buffs are nothing much. Mage Armor and Protection from Evo on the pet. We also bought a scroll of blur on the mongrel base so we could cast it on our pet. Otherwise it's just enlarged person, bless and of course the true strikes. Our main character also has mutagen so we have that as a buff as well. Now we just charge Hostila, everybody is already set up with their true strikes. Our main character of course goes for vital strike that does a lot more damage. Here I forgot to equip Wendwag with a Glaive. We should use a Glaive, it does more damage than a bow early on, especially with a large person. And every little bit of damage on Unfair helps a lot. Here our main character build does just so much damage, the fight is a lot easier than usual. Um, the Quasits are usually hardened then Hostila, in my opinion, we still have a cast of True Strike on our main character. Try to get your damage dealers away from the Quasits, even if it takes an attack of opportunity. And kill the one close to Len first, as Len will die much quicker than our Leopard. The Quasits can only hit our Leopard on a 20, and we also have Blur. So it's a very low chance of our Leopard dying before land. Our main character can kill a Quasit by himself, so let's just use Scylla and Wendwag to chip away at the Quasit attacking the Leopard and let uh, our main character deal with the other one. Now it's pretty much just clean up. We still have fortune now that our true strikes with our main character are gone. And there you go, Hostila and the Quasits down. That's a pretty clean fight with the builds we have. Um, it's actually so clean that you could even get away with a different Scylla and even Windwag build, you don't need true strike on both of them with this main character. If you were using my Blood Rager, I wouldn't recommend going with builds without true strike in your companions, but with the demon you can get away with that since we are so strong. Again, difficulty is unfair. The builds I already showcased, but I'm going to go over them really quickly. It's just two levels main character starts at Rowdy Rogue into Vivisectionist for that True Strike and Mutagen. Scylla is a Sylvan Sorcerer for the pet and also for the True Strike spell, of course. Camilla at this level she doesn't do much beside casting Fortune, but we went Stigmatize Witch, took Fortune as a Hex. Um, Wendwag is a sanctified slayer, she also gets true strike this way. And don't forget to keep the glaive on Wendwag like I did. The pet, nothing much, we took dodge as a feat, gave him some nice buffs for that 30 AC, 32 while fighting defensively. And yeah, I even forgot to cast Lead Blades on our main character, we would have done even more damage. But yeah, as you can see, a very clean fight, not much to talk about there. If there's any other fight you'd like to see done on Unfair Difficulty, let me know in the comments. I'm going to do all the fights I showcase without any bugs or exploit, uh, even Water Elemental can be done uh, fairly easily without running around the table or the Cambion's pit uh, and sh while shooting arrows at it. As you saw Hostila also there's no need to run around, at least not with those builds. I'm still struggling to find a way to reliably beat Hostila with a uh, caster main character 
on unfair difficulty but uh, yeah the fight gets much more difficult if you use a caster even more so if you are going the angel mythic path and then you have to fight windwag as well so if you have done it without cheesing and running around the, the map let me know how you did it in the comments, I'd love to hear, I still haven't seen it being done with casters without cheese. But um, that's it for this video, until next time.